Welcome back to the Math Guy, everybody. Today we're looking at how to subtract positive and negative numbers. Let's jump into it. Okay, we're going to look at these four questions here today, and we're also going to use this number line to help us visualize exactly what we are doing. And we're going to follow these two rules. First one says subtracting a positive number means we go down the number line. That makes sense, doesn't it? If we subtract a normal positive number, we will go down the number line. But then it says subtracting a negative number means we will go up the number line. And that's what's going to be a little bit confusing to understand today. So let's have a look at question one. Question one says six subtract a negative four. So let's have a look at our number line then. We're starting at six down here and we are subtracting a negative four. Now when we subtract a negative, as it says on this second rule, we have to go up the number line. But why? Well, think of it like this. We had six and we also had a negative four, a debt of four. But then fortunately, that debt was taken away by subtracting the negative four. So therefore, I'm gonna actually add four to my six. So one, two, three, four, leave me with 10. So six, subtract a negative four, equals 10. Let's have a look at question two. And this time we're starting at negative nine. Find that on the number line, there it is. And this time I am subtracting a negative two. Now if I was adding a negative two, I would come one, two down my number line because that would be adding more debt. But this time I'm taking away some debt. So therefore I come up the number line, one, two, and I land at negative seven. So negative nine, subtract a negative two, leaves me with negative seven. Again, following that rule, subtracting a negative number means we go up the number line. Let's have a look at question three. Question three says I have negative three and I am subtracting five. So I'm on negative three and I am subtracting, this time, a positive number. So we follow the first rule. Subtracting a positive number means we go down the number line because essentially all I'm doing is subtracting another five. So I'm at negative three, subtract five is one, two, three, four, five, leaves me on negative eight. So negative three minus five is negative eight. Last one, negative eight, subtract negative four. So let's find negative eight on the number line. There it is. And if I subtract a negative, I actually come up the number line, one, two, three, four, and I land on negative four. So negative eight, subtract a negative four is negative four. Whoa, pretty tricky, right? A little bit confusing to think about. But basically, if we are subtracting a negative number, we actually end up adding. So let's think about things to remember in this lesson. First, draw a number line to help you. This will help you visualize what exactly you're doing. Then put the first number on the line before following the rule for the second number. And the rules are subtracting a positive number means we go down the number line and subtracting a negative number means we go up the number line. Here are four questions for you to have a go at. Work these questions out, put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna mark them all. And there we go. That is subtracting positive and negative integers or numbers. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you very much for watching, but for now, Peace out.